What's up? What it do? It's your boy Daddy Gamer, and today I got another Borderlands 3 video for y'all. So today we're gonna talk about the new two shields that have came with the Guardian Takedown. Now this one is the Aslepius. Um, I don't think no one knows how to pronounce this, so it's gonna get butchered throughout the entire video and in the future. So I'm just gonna call it the ASP. Um, that's what I'm gonna call it. And the other one we're gonna go over is called the Revengeinator, Running Gun Revengeinator. Now I got these as well on my first run through of the Guardian Takedown, and um, I've just tried them out recently, as you guys will see in this video. So let's go ahead and get into the stats of these. That way we can see what we're working with. So the ASP capacity. 11,711, reach charge delay at 3 per seconds, recharge rate at 2,088, it drops a health charge and a power charge, red text reads, always carry a small snake, plus 50% resistance to elemental status effects while shield is depleted, when damaged, regenerate 3% of max health per second for a few seconds, now because we have an anointment, um, I don't know exactly what the numbers are for the power charge, but you know it could be anywhere from 10%, 15%, however much percent um, boost in damage that we get. And obviously with my anointment of ASA, 250% of health damage taken is returned to the attacker as shock damage. So that's pretty cool in itself. Moving on. The Revengeinator, the capacity is really, really low. I don't know if this will uh, come in a legendary form, but for me, it dropped as a blue shield. So the capacity is 7,807 with a recharge delay of 3.2 with a recharge rate of 2,610. Trigger happy fleet, red text reads, don't get mad, get explosive. Throws a free grenade when the shield is depleted. This effect has a short cooldown. Plus 10% fire rate while shield is depleted. Plus 10% movement speed while shield is depleted. And the same ASA anointment as the last one. Without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Alright, so I got the keys worth out. And, uh, you know, I just applied some fire damage to myself. And just to show you guys, this is how the ASP works. Now, you shoot yourself or you get a status effect applied to you. You will drop red and green orbs for the health and power charges. So that's just how that would be. Even if you blow yourself up, it'll drop. Now, obviously, you don't want to blow yourself up or whatever the case may be. Now, this, I have a feeling if I theorize who this shit would be great for, uh, it would be great for Amara. You know, um, you know, she has a, she gets a lot of buffs and she, she benefits from applying status to herself and things of that nature so the asp might work well for her but you know um i, I recommend it to you know you could probably keep it and carry it in your loadout whatever the case may be and um that's pretty much just how it functions let's move on over to the let's move on over now here i have on the revengeinator so i'll show you guys how this one works so pretty much all I did here was just deplete my shield. And um, that way I can show you guys how this works. So once you deplete your shield, like I said, you get the movement speed and it drops grenades. So this is pretty much the only thing special about it. Once you you once your shield depletes, not when you go down, but when it depletes, you'll drop grenades and voila. That's pretty much it. But like I said, because it's a blue shield... Um, you know, I don't know how effective it can be. We all seen in this game how blue items before have done like. Oh, sorry about that, man. Um, yeah, my audio stuff just messed up, so it, it cut me off mid sentence. But um, yeah, you know, I was gonna say we all remember the pipe bomb and things of that nature. But um, yeah, man, these are just two more items you guys can get when in the Guardian takedown. Whether it's from the first mini boss or the final boss at the end of the takedown. Um, yeah, man. Y'all have fun. If y'all like this video, make sure you like the video. If you want to see any more Borderlands content, video game content as a whole, make sure you hit that sub button. And I'm going to catch y'all next time, man. Peace.